Good morning, YouTubers. Just sort of have a VR headset there. Yes, there we are. Yes, yeah, sorry about the uh, the sound levels on the uh, previous videos. Every time we change aircraft, the sound levels have to be readjusted, and obviously, I've adjusted it now, so hopefully, we'll be able to speak to you and you'll be able to hear me. Okay, we're in Dubai still, and uh, I'm going to do some hovering, helicopter hovering, in um, on these skyscrapers. I haven't done helicopter hovering for a while, and it's always good to stay in practice. There they are. So when we're flying helicopters, it's quite good to just lift into the hover and uh, have a look at all our controls, make sure everything's working okay. Because if it's not, we can always put it back down again on the ground. Right. Let's set off then, shall we, towards Dubai. Yes, yeah, so was. Uh, have a look at the link I put on the community page to Tim Davis, fast jet performance. I was watching one of his videos this morning, and he he knows what he's talking about. He was a fighter pilot for many years, and he got pissed off with the Air Force and left because they were doing ridiculous things. And uh, he knew about it years ago, and it's only just come out in the news. The Air Force is doing ridiculous things. And he's on it, he's on it, he's made a video explaining it. But I, I've been watching him for a number of years, so I knew his gripes and beefs. And uh, yes, there you go. You can be a fighter pilot in today's Royal Air Force, so long as you're not a white male. Because they're into diversity. So you've got to be anything but a white male and you can apply. There you go. Along those lines, anyway. Now, if I was in charge of flying training in the Air Force, I would grab people from the Air Training Corps. I'd start there and I'd have a load of VR flying programs that the cadets could have a go on. And anyone who shows any promise at all will be recruited into the program. And that's where to start because at a young age like that you learn everything like a sponge. If you're interested in something, you're going to learn it. My boy learns to fly helicopters in about 10 minutes. Right? And it takes a normal person about 6 hours to get a grip of the, the aircraft and be able to handle it. So that's where to start. So you could train your pilots up from the Air Training Corps. In the, Royal Air, in the Royal Air Force they have the Air Cadets, which is the Air Training Corps. Not to be confused with Air Traffic Control, it's called ATC. Okay, so it's just the Air Cadets. These, I think I joined the Air Cadets at 12 or 13 years old, something like that. And you can stay there until you're 18, I think. Something like that. I don't know, you'd have to double check that. But what a perfect place to go if you want to become a pilot or you want a career in the air force that's the place to go and it's just not so is it it just didn't work for me and i think it was broken and i think that that's we need to fix so flying training starts there anyone with any ability you can natural ability with kids you know when they're that young and so they can learn they can learn really fast and then you think wow this guy's good I'm going to submit your uh, your flying videos and the, the Air Force can look at them and go, oh yeah, actually this guy's good. doesn't need a degree in music or be able to play a violin or recite Shakespeare, you know, all that fucking nonsense that is required. It's absolutely irrelevant. The RAF is a disgrace today, it really is. It used to be really good and it's, the morale has got so bad the team leader of the, the RAF's display team, the Red Arrows, who fly these really, really ancient aeroplanes that should have been scrapped years ago, but they've still got them and they're still they're so mean, the British. That's what's wrong with them, you see. They're so mean. 
if they uh, they won't spend any money on anything and they're, they're trying to scrimp and save and they just expect people to be able to be fighter pilots you know without spending any money and it's not going to happen you can save a shitload of money if you train them in VR now Tim Davies he, he was an instructor because what happens when you're a frontline fighter pilot when you come off the line you can go back and become an instructor on the fast jet training aircraft because you are you are the man but it takes he said it took him about nine months why would it take nine months right to train a current fighter pilot to become an instructor why would it take that long again there you go you see it's just piss taking and wasting money someone who is a fighter pilot should be ready to go pretty much with a briefing to be an instructor Okay, here's a helipad on the roof of this building, look. So we're going to circle the building a little bit and have a, have a good look. What I'm interested in at this moment in time is windsocks, wind direction. Can't see a windsock. It's a bit of a bummer. Okay, speed is... Oh yes, I've got the wind now. Got the windsock in the left-hand corner there. So I want to come in into wind, obviously. First, I don't want to get too close to the building. If anything goes wrong, what am I going to do? What's my escape route? It's probably going to be to the left and dive down that way somewhere. Okay, so myself all squared off. Get my approach speed right down. Bring myself in into wind. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Just focusing on the the ring, okay? We're not worried about being on top of a building or anything, we're just focusing on the pad. Don't want to land too soon. It's a bit soon actually, but I think we're good enough. Yeah, we should have been more on the pad actually. Look at that. It's really done to have been further on. Okay. Ready with the left foot. Lift off. Head out this way into wind. There we go, over the edge. <laughs> right, let's pick another one. We're going to land over there. I think there's a helipad over there somewhere. Now we know our wind direction and we can make our approach from the other side. I think this is it, yes, it is. 50 miles an hour. But yeah, they've got it. They've got it all, all, all wrong. I mean, look at America, like United States of America. They've got so much money, right? And they don't scrimp and worry about penny pinching. Okay, they can train a fighter pilot in two years. Okay, the RAF takes seven years, seven to ten years. Why do you think that is? It's because they're penny pinching the whole way. And they pick the people that they pick they feel need the least amount they're so intelligent they need the least amount of training so it's not because you're the right stuff it's because they're mean asses and uh, they're picking all the wrong people whereas you want the right people surely to god i could pick the right people i could get the people up and ready for flight training and I'd recruit them all from the air cadets so that at 18 they're ready to start flight training in the air force I say look there's there you go there's a there's hundred people take them and then what what they used to do out of a class of 30 they'd want the top six 
Right, and the top six in that class would go on to be fighter pilots. I said, well, what about the rest of them? All of them might be suitable, but you only want the top six. And then the next class of 30 comes along and they're all rubbish. And they still pick the top six. And you think, well, the people that you failed in the other course last time was were, were better than all of these guys put together. But they don't think of it like this. It's just, I don't know who's in charge. I really don't know who's in charge, but they are incompetent snivelling wretches as far as I'm concerned you know this is not a difficult thing to do it's tricky and it takes a bit of a bit of time getting getting the knack but you've got to train them young as possible really you know someone who's 14 can learn this so much quicker than someone like me who's 60 years old you know it's not difficult it's not rocket science and there's absolutely no reason that you'd need a degree from university to do this especially one in music okay or french it's not actually that difficult there we go again i'm not quite on it look i need a bit more practice i should be bang on the h there i'm going to go around and try it one more time and i'm going to knock it on the head I need another cup of tea. Tea is very important. Up we go. Up we go. Get ourselves airborne. Looking at our dials. Anything wrong? Mm, no, everything looks okay to me. Could just plonk it back on the H there. That would be cheating though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be cheating. Okay, let's go around. Buildings, buildings, buildings. Think safety. Let's go this way. Okay, where's our tower? We'll go around that black tower and then we'll come in the downwind side. 50 knots, going really fast now. <laughs> 50 knots. Right. And all pilots, I think, should be trained in uh, helicopters and fixed wing. I see no reason why not. No oh, money, money, think of the money. Well, we can do it all in VR. Cost nothing in VR. Once you've got the setup, you put the student in the flight simulator and you say, get on with it. And the instructor watches the video, watches them crash, and says, right, this is what you did wrong. You watch the video back. And then you try it again and again and again. And the kids that are determined will get it right. They'll crack it and they'll crack it quite soon. Actually, it won't take them long. You can't afford to do that in a, in a real... And look, once these guys are trained up, they know what they're doing. They'll fly through the flying training in a minimal cost. They really will. You know? Because they know what they're doing. They've just got to apply it to a real aircraft. And the real aircraft and flying in VR is very, very, very similar. There's not much to it, much difference at all, except flying in VR is free. You don't get the, uh, the G-forces, of course, because you're sitting in a chair in a room, aren't you? You don't feel the bumps and bangs, but I do, because my brain is alert to this sort of thing. And my brain's telling me I'm pulling G, and uh, it isn't. Okay, 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 okay. How's that? Oh, better, better. We're sort of line squared off with the H, but we could have done to have been a bit more forward there. But you get the drift, you get the drift. Oh, there you go. What? You get that. You probably can't get that on the, on the 2D screen, but definitely get it in VR. <laughs> That's creeping me out, actually. Oh. Right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it.